Hi, I'm Linda Nitson with Sizzix. Today I'm going to show you the fourth and final block. This is the assembly of the Ocean Breeze block of the month. Behind me is the big Ocean Breeze quilt. It's gorgeous in these blues and greens with grays as the background. I've used batiks to do the entire quilt. It's lovely as a two color quilt or three, I'm sorry, three color, two of the interior and then the background. Um, so choose three colors or you can do an assortment of um, scraps if you like. Um, it's really brilliant either way. So I encourage all beginners, um, hope you've been following along. And today we're going to do the squares. So the four and a half inch square, we need 64 of the background squares and 35 of the colored squares. So super easy to cut them out. It's a yard and a third of the background and two thirds of a yard of the colored. So take your strips, you can strip them down into five inch strips. Um, fit very nicely on top of the die and you just place them on top folding them you can place them up to eight layers together on top put your cutting pad at the top and your cutting pad at the bottom today I'm using the Big Shot Plus machine but you can use the Big Shot or the Big Shot Pro and I wind that through I definitely want to make sure that I've skewed that die as much as I can as it goes into the machine because it has that nice straight blade that covers the entire die on the front end and the rear end. It will um, cut better if you skew that as it goes into the machine. So I pull these out and really this block there's nothing to sew together except the entire assembly of the quilt. So let me show you that in its very simplest form. So the assembly is in rows starting from the upper left hand corner and I'm going to show you with a piece of poster board. Helps out with a little bit with the rows. So if I block out everything else and just go with that top piece. If you've been following along, we started out with the four patch, the two and a half inch squares. And then we moved along to the next month to the four and a half inch half square triangles. Last month was the isosceles triangle. Some people call that the triangle in a square. And that's the piece that we're going to start with today. So here's our isosceles triangle. We've cut colored squares. Then we need another isosceles triangle so that they're facing that colored square. You're gonna to hop to your background color, another colored square, background, isosceles, colored square. And by now you probably can see the repeat. The background, colored square, background piece, and then you're going to finish off with your isosceles pointing toward your colored square. So that completes your first row. There will be six rows in total, and let me show you the next row. So if I come down, again, start from your left hand side, and now you're going to use your four patch blocks, but your four patches make sure that your colored pieces are fanning towards that colored square at the top row. The isosceles, again, will point towards that colored square. And then you have the four patch again, pointing towards the colored square. Get out your half square triangles. And the half square triangles, that point, points towards that colored square on the top row. Okay, your blank square background. And then again, your half square triangle that's going to point towards that square. Okay, and then here's where it repeats again. So you start with your four patch, your isosceles, and your four patch again, facing up towards that top row square. And then it repeats back here to the half square triangles with the square block. Again, it's pointing towards that background or the colored piece. And then we repeat again to the four patches with the isosceles. The isosceles points to that colored square and so do the background four patches. Row three is your uh, half square triangles and this time it's pointing down because the next row it's going to be pointing towards that colored square, okay? So point them down, a solid background. Again, that half square triangle pointing down You've got your four patch unit with the isosceles in between. And again, this time it's pointing down, okay? And then we repeat again to the half square triangle, the background and the half square triangle, again, pointing downward. And again, your 
uh, four patch, your isosceles and your four patch again, as it's pointing down, you wanna be able to see this chain starting to form here. Everybody see that chain forming? Okay, and then it repeats again with your half square triangle, your background piece, your half square triangle pointing downward. Let's go down a row. So this row looks very similar to the top row, except it, it blocks off, it starts with the background, your solid square and your background square. This row has the isosceles triangles facing each other just like row one did. Okay, faces that dark colored square, right? Then we move along to the next three pieces, background, solid square, background. And again, the isosceles facing the solid square, the solid square background to a colored square to a background. And that completes row four. Okay, row five begins with a half square triangle as it faces again towards the solid square. So you've got these three. The next three, you have the uh, four patch with the isosceles and a four patch. Again, it's pointing towards that solid square. So if you notice, you go the chain to the uh, square to the chain, right? The chain to this uh, four patches to the next chain, okay? And then we repeat again, half square triangle, square, half square triangle. That should be the background unit. And now you can start to see where that curve comes into play, but it's just an illusion. We didn't sew any curves, did we? And then the last segment here, we have the half square triangle, the square and the half square triangle. Okay, again, those half square triangles always point towards that solid square. The last row starts out with the four patch. And again, I'm just gonna drop my board down just a little bit so that you can see it always chains towards that solid square. You've got an isosceles pointing again towards that solid square and away from that solid here, the background. The four patch. Then we have the half square triangle, the square and the half square triangle. Again, as it's pointing towards that solid square, just like here, okay? The next three would be the completion of that four patch block, the isosceles pointing down, and the four patch pointing upward into this chain here, okay? The next three would be the half square triangle, the square and the half square triangle, again, as it's pointing downward into that colored square. And then the last three on this row would be the four patch, the isosceles, and then another four patch again as it's completing this long chain, okay? Once you've sewn those six rows together, it's a complete repeat until you're finished with your rows. It's really that simple. So I'm gonna take the board away. It's all an illusion now. You're complete on the illusion with the circles that go around and around. You can play with different color schemes. You can play with different backgrounds. You can play with scraps or you can plan the quilt that you want to make in different colors. Um, enjoy the block, enjoy the quilt and have fun.